There you go. Hi, I am Dr. Tracy Provost, uh, professor of history at Middle Georgia State University, and today I am reading from the banned book Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. Chapter 16, Luciana. He found Luciana sitting alone at a table in the Allied officers' nightclub where the drunken Anzac major who had brought her there had been stupid enough to desert her for the ribald company of some singing comrades at the bar. All right, I'll dance with you, she said, before Yossarian could even speak, but I won't let you sleep with me. Who asked you, Yossarian asked her. You don't want to sleep with me, she exclaimed with surprise. I don't want to dance with you. She seized Josarian's hand and pulled him out on the dance floor. She was a worse dancer than even he was, but he threw himself, or she threw herself into a synthetic jitterbug music with more uninhibited pleasure than he had ever observed until he felt his legs falling asleep with boredom and yanked her off the desk, the dance floor towards the table at which the wo the girl he should have been screwing was still sitting tipsily with one hand around Arfie's neck, her orange satin blouse still hanging open slovenly below her full white lacy brassiere as she made dirty sex talk ostentatiously with Hoople or Kid Samson and Hungry Joe. Just as he reached them, <clears throat> Luciana gave him a forceful, unexpected shove that carried them both well beyond the table so that they were still alone. She was a tall, earthly, exuberant girl with long hair and pretty face, a buxom, delightful, flirtatious girl. All right, she said, I will let you buy me dinner, but I still won't let you sleep with me. Who asked you, Yosarian asked with surprise. You don't want to sleep with me? I don't want to buy you dinner. She pulled him out of the nightclub into the street and down a flight of steps to a black market restaurant filled with lively, chirping, attractive girls who all seemed to know each other with self-conscious military officers from different countries who had come there with them. The food was elegant and expensive and the aisles were overflowing with the great streams of flushed and merry proprietors, all stout and balding. The bustling interior radiated with enormous engulfing waves of fun and warmth. Yossarian got a tremendous kick out of the rude gusto with which Luciana ignored him completely while shoveling away her meal with both hands. She ate like a horse until the last plate was clean, 